ones. The poor remainders will be abused for horrible experiments. But Dr. Walden, the Nehonians would never do something like that. The Neo? No! Not the green ones! The black ones are the problem! What kind of accusations are those? We will not take this kind of nonsense. Dr. Walden, if you want to be taken seriously here, take off that silly sock and put it in a washing machine. Very good. That's how you've got to deal with lunatics like him. My goodness, they've been changed already. Yes, they've been changed already. By brain rays, probably. That's very improbable. Commercial television's not allowed aboard this ship, so our brains should be all right. I need to get out of here. Well, that was that. Where were we? Didn't I do a great job mediating between the two parties? Isn't peace just a few small steps away? I want to say that we're not amused anymore. We prefer savages who quietly stay in their primitive huts and gratefully accept our shining golden space coins. Instead, you attack and insult us. The, mor the, mor the morale's dr dr dropping, bing, 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 Mr. S just Simon, Simon, Simon. We, we need honey, honey, and strong, strongly, really, 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 really resent your words. As a protest, even the big bingo tournament for tonight was canceled. Instead, there'll be only the standard dinner menu of ten courses. Nobody wanted to offend the Nahonians. Your gold and space coins are very welcome here. Let's become reconciled so our liquor stores and streetwalkers can make big bucks again. Streetwalkers? Michael, don't even think about it. But, darling, that's part of the local culture. Do you want me to enrage their gods? All questions of guilt aside, the magic world has suffered enough. So I say... Listen to me, aliens and moles. I think you've bothered the magic world long enough. Today is the day when we'll celebrate our independence. Our independence from you morons. You're a traitor, Simon. It's you who'll burn in a pretty ball of fire. Together with these green invaders. Number two, two. What are, you, what are you doing? You're ruining the negotiations and throwing us all into misfortune and catastrophe. Shoo, shoo! Back into your basket, you loser! I'm glad to see you're back in service number three. Come here and finally serve the canapes and drinks. Canopies? Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, dear aliens, may I introduce to you our senior stewardess. She'll delight all members of this conference with canapes and very tasty coffee shortly. Simon? We'd better cancel the transmission before the coffee gets cold. By all the blind mold gods, that's enough. Your babble is nowhere near enough to convince us. Our intelligence photographs clearly prove the Nehonians' aggressive nature. If you don't supply good arguments at once, we'll blow up the Eye of Death, and that's that! Just a second. Photographs, you say? I've got a great idea for reconciliation. How about a joint slideshow evening? Intelligence photos of the moles, together with holiday pictures of the Nahonians? That'd be super fun! Yes, that sounds great. It does, especially when there's pictures of Simon, too. We've read a lot about his magical abilities in our guidebook. I knew you had good taste. 
We have recordings on Simon. They're not top secret, either. They're rather trivial, in fact. Mostly, you can see him visiting the Swampling daily to take a bath in Swamp. Uh, uh, we, we don't need to get into that in more detail right now. In any case, we found our common ground, so now let's continue. All right, let's not talk about the differences between moles and Nahonians any longer. Let's talk about what you have in common. What we have in common? With those, well, borrowers? <laughs> Come off it. We've achieved the highest level of civilization. Tourism. Both of you are eager to learn and open-minded, and yet so down to earth. Down to earth, yes. That's what we are. Since all have spoken now, and soon my favorite TV show is on, let's get to the end. So do you want to continue bashing each other's deformed heads in, or will there be a great peace celebration together with pizza and children's sparkling wine? How about a cold war? With agents? With a lot of agents? And gripping thrillers about agents for the in-flight movie choice? Our guests just love those. Okay, so, Cold War it is. Without battles, but with cool agents and hot stunts. Main thing is, you Nahonians have got to be careful with your cameras from now on, and you moles have got to stop doing those kidnappings, okay? The Central Board of Tourism has already called all ships back. We've got to completely reconsider our tourism management. Please do show up once in a while, though. Otherwise, our agents won't have anything to do. And now, let's get rid of those missiles. Simon, I'll save you! I've knocked the stuffing out of that computer! Actually, it's me who's pulled the chestnuts out of the fire. What? No, I've saved the world using the power. I am the deranged one. Come, let's celebrate. Unfortunately, the minibar's empty. <laughs> I've already had a little bit of pre-celebration. Dipple! That's the first true thing you've said all day. But now, get lost. These guys just want to applaud me, and I want to enjoy that. Just you wait, you non-believer. The power will teach you respect. You're just the same loser as always, Wolf. And now get back to your bar counter where you belong. But I was the deranged one. I had the power. By flipping this switch... I'll cause all missiles to self-destruct. There. Whoa, that was close. What would you guys do without me? But let's not get ourselves. That was just another normal day for a true hero like me. I've done it once again. Although, I feel I've forgotten something. Simon, where have you been? Don't tell me you've forgotten me. Ouch! What is it? I just remembered.